So you're wanting to do a swim run, but you have no idea what equipment to get and why. So we're going to get you from here to here. Let's talk some swim run gear. Let's talk swim run gear. We'll break it up in a two part series. The first series will be on wetsuits and the second part of the video will be everything else. So all the accessories and whatnot. But let's start by dumping out my swim run gear bag. That's everything. Okay. Accessory, 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 undergarment, accessory, wetsuit, paddles. Alright, let's take all this and dump it on the floor. Get rid of that. And we'll break out with the wetsuit. This is the Orca RS1. This is the Orca Core. This is the RS1. So We'll talk about these two swim run suits, but before I get into swim run suit, swim run wetsuits, I would like to mention what makes them different than your typical wetsuits, especially when we're talking about triathlon. So I've got my tri suit also. So I'm gonna take this one, the RS1, and set it aside for now. And we'll talk about just the differences between the core swim run suit and a regular triathlon suit. Now you have both sleeved triathlon wetsuits and sleeveless, but the basic concept of them are the same. Then you have the swim run wetsuit. So the first thing that you can, you'll, you'll know about triathlon suits, especially if you've done triathlons before, is there's a maximum thickness that these wetsuits can be and still be triathlon legal. And that's because they don't want um, too much buoyancy being provided by the wetsuit. The wetsuit I guess suggested for temperature purposes not for performance enhancements and so one of the things that a good triathlon wetsuit will do is give you a little bit of a performance enhancement so some of the uh, wetsuits like this s6 has a little bit of a a thicker um, maximum thickness uh, based upon the rules right here which kind of lifts the hips out and kind of does what a swim buoy would do um, but uh, a lot of wetsuits will do that that feature so the other thing that you'll notice is, is that it's obviously all the way down with to the legs um, uh, uh, to give you the, the most slickness through the water um, and it's one piece especially kind of in the, in the crotch area there's nothing fancy about the crotch and that's now it's not me being funny but I'll get back to that point here in a second and then you also have on the back is you have the the zipper and the lanyard that are in the back of the suit um, again to provide you with the most slickness of the water um, the smoothness on the front uh, and that's also kind of a rule when it comes to some of the itu type of races very basic typically full sleeve typically full leg and then uh, they're not really designed to run in they're designed to give you the fastest swim possible that's what it really boils down to now the reason that all that's important is when it came to some of the earlier swim run races these suits were tried and they quickly found out they're no fun to run in and when you're going from swim to run to swim to run to swim to run to swim to run especially and you have some longer runs and in otolo the swim run world championship the longest run segment is thir about 13 miles. This is not something you want to run in for, for 13 miles. And in a swim run race, you're not going to want to take the time of taking it off and toting it or putting it in a backpack or something like that every time you transition because you're just adding extra time to your race. So if you're racing this, you most successful good swim run racers are going to run in their suits and they're going to swim in their shoes. So the suit needs to be comfortable enough for running. Hence the invention of the swim run wetsuit. So swim run wetsuits, as you can see here, this is the front of the suit. 
So you have the opening in the front and that allows you to be able to get it on and off easy. There's not, uh, uh, it also allows you to get the top down if you want to take it down. And in a second, you'll see how you've got some storage on inside of some of these suits so that you can get in and get, get your storage and whatnot. So first design difference between this and a triathlon suit is zippers in the front. I uh, had a friend try on one of these just recently and he put the zipper in the back because he thought hey, it's triathlon suits, put the zipper in the back. No, zipper is in the front. Uh, there are some swim run suits out there that have the zippers in both the front and the back, um, but the orcas only have the zippers in the front, as do most of the swim run wetsuits. Okay, so we'll put this one aside for a second and just show you that these suits are designed as sleeveless. So they come from the manufacturer, cut from, from the sleeves. Some of the swim run suits will come both full length legs and full length sleeves, but they're designed for you to cut them however high or low on your leg or on your, on your arm that you want them cut. So you cut them, but and once you cut them, you can't really use the sleeves or the legs because that's the way they're designed. These particular suits, uh, for example, the RS1, comes with sleeves that you could wear as an option if you want. And they're, they're designed with the uh, anti-slip on the top part of the sleeve so it doesn't slide down your arm and a, a nice tight cuff so that it won't uh, take on water as much so you get to choose whether you want to use it sleeved or sleeveless one of the things that attracted me to the core suit or the orca suit um, the core has the same sleeves as well so this suit's very very basic this is what i would consider a warm weather suit there's a lot of manufacturers that have warm weather suits this one's a little thinner than than the rs1 which i would consider a colder weather suit but it's also very very basic from there's no storage on the inside there's no storage on the back there is a small pocket on the leg so if you had something like you know some nutrition that you want to stash in there you could stuff it in there pretty easily and you know run with it and swim with it and, and you're good to go okay all right on the back very very basic back now one thing that does separate these from a triathlon suit is if um if the camera's picking it up pretty good you've got this different uh, material here in the crotch uh it's designed for maximum flexibility Just hold it up to the camera there so you can see it a little bit better um, and it's also designed to give you a, a lot more of a comfortable run. So again, one of the, the designs that di differentiates this from a triathlon suit. So that's the core suit, very basic suit. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple of rips in it from where I've been racing through the woods and caught them on briars and twigs and, and whatnot, but a very, very functional suit. And I, I really like this one a lot. I've done uh, numerous races in that one. So we'll put that one away bring you over to the rs1 the rs1 is what i would consider a colder weather suit it's a little bit thicker i think it's what two and a half i think there's a two or two and a half mil um, collar so it's a lot thinner up in the collar so it makes it a lot more flexible um, good for both running and swimming um, then down in the sleeves it gets a little bit thicker but still relatively thin gives you the maximum flexibility and then you have this three i think it's a three mil uh, chest it gives you a little more buoyancy in the chest and then you have this big honking nine millimeter i don't know if you can catch that on the light or not but it's a nine millimeter thickness uh, on the front of the leg with a thinner two or two and a half mil thickness on the back of the leg so just on this front panel here right here is a nine mil thick again the idea is to give you the maximum buoyancy you don't have rules like in triathlon so you can have a thicker suit and that lifts those hips up it makes you a lot faster a lot more efficient in the water again it has the like the core suit it has this very flexible crotch to it um, that is very very thin and very very comfortable so that you can run in it without any problems there uh, bunching and whatnot another thing that i like about the uh, swim run suit for for our, the rs1 swim run suit is it has a two-way zipper on the front so you can obviously zip it up this way like so um, and then if you wanted to unzip it you could also unzip it up uh, that comes in handy so that uh, when you are wearing a racing bib let me grab one of those that all the races have you wear something like this over the top of your suit okay so this is your racing bib um, and you're gonna be wearing this over the top of your suit in the swim and the run the whole bit and you have to keep it on at all times so as you're racing this bib if you want to open up the zipper instead of having to reach all the way up to the top 
and unzip. If you just want to unzip it and get a little airflow, you can just reach down here and zip up. And that way you don't have to deal with uh, taking the whole thing off. Now, obviously if you want to take the, the wetsuit down to your waist, then you would want to take the top off and whatnot. But that just makes it a little bit easier to get to, um, gives you a little bit more flexibility as far as your venting goes when you're out there in the run. Uh, one really, really cool feature that I really like is one of the mandatory pieces of equipment that races require you is a safety whistle. And I thought that it was a, a nice little added touch that they added this safety whistle in this little pocket here. Um, speaking of pockets, this suit has lots of storage options. First of all, on the exterior in the back, uh, on the back you've got a nice spacious pocket. I mean, you could, you could put five peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in here. So it's a pretty big pocket. And then on the interior, you have the same mesh type of pocket, all right? So you've got one right here, and then you have one on this side as well. And what these are handy for is, again, if you want to take some nutrition, stuff it in your pocket. You could put other nutrition over here. You could stick your swim cap in there. You could stick your goggles in there. Um, and the pockets are closed up enough to where even if you had the suit down to your waist, these, it's not going to come out. Um, I want to take that out. Now, the way that I'll use this is I'll probably stick my goo gels or my goo chews in these pockets right here on the inside so that I can reach them whenever I want to get them. And then this pocket in the back will be where I will be the mule for my partner. Uh, since I won't be able to reach it too well or be able to figure out what's in there, uh, this will be his or her pocket. So um, Dan Kimball's probably the one that I'm doing the most races with. So he'll be able to stick his stuff back here whenever he needs it. He just hops up behind me and unzips it and grabs whatever he needs out of there or sticks in whatever he needs to be. So I'll be his mule, he'll be mine, and we'll carry each other's stuff back there as needed. Another great place to stick goggles or your swim cap or whatever it is that you want to carry with you during the race. Um, again, this one's already designed pre-cut, so um, I did find that it was fairly, fairly comfortable. Um, I didn't make, need to make any adjustments to the length of it. Um, one last feature that I, that I um, found is, and you probably can't tell from looking at it, I'll turn it like that, is this is a, a distinctive line right here. This is the upper part and it's kind of a smooth kind of a surface. Um, and the, the actual surface itself feels uh, like a typical wetsuit. But then we have this surface right here. If you notice it doesn't have, it's not as shiny um, as the top piece. This is a little bit shinier than this. This is kind of a rougher, denser material, um, which is nice when you are swimming amongst rocks and jagged things. And um, if you look at some of the Otillo video, you'll see guys sliding on their butt down rocks and whatnot. It's just an extra thing that kind of keeps the suit a little bit more protected and keeps it from getting torn and whatnot. And that's just on the butt and on the back, which I thought was uh, pretty neat. So that's the RS1. Again, we've got the core. And those, these are the two suits that I will um, definitely be racing in. I raced in last year and I will be racing in again this year. All right, so I'll wrap up part one of the two-part gear video with just the wetsuit. I think that's enough uh, content for one, and we'll go on to part two and talk about the rest of the gear, okay? If you have any questions, hit me up on my Facebook, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Instagram, YouTube, or you can go to my blog at speedyloser.com. One of those ways you should be able to get a hold of me, whichever is, is your choice, and, and I welcome any and all questions.